In this video, we've got data is collected from six students to determine whether there is any correlation between their scores in a national exam and their heights in metres. So here are their exam scores, here are their heights. Conduct a PMCC hypothesis test at the 5% level to determine whether there is evidence to suggest there is any correlation between their exam scores and their heights. OK, so first thing that we need to do is to define rho, the population correlation coefficient. So let rho be the population correlation coefficient and it needs to be in context between exam scores and heights. Okay, now the null hypothesis is always the same, so that's row zero. Now the alternative hypothesis this time, because we're determining whether there is any correlation, that means that we're looking at a two-tailed test, and this has got to be not equal to zero. So we don't know whether it's going to be positive or negative. We're just trying to determine whether there is any correlation. So we need to calculate the value of r from my sample. So let's do that first. 205, 236, 158, 169, 172. 264, uh, 1.55, 1.67, 1.72, 1.61, 1.43, 1.45. Okay, and we're getting minus 0 0.316 to 3 sig fig. Okay. So then we need to find the critical value. So for n equals 6, the 5% critical value is. So now we go to our tables. So page 12 in the formula booklet, left hand side for PMCC. Now at the top, you've got one tail test and two tail test. Now, we're on a two-tail test because rho is not equal to zero. So go along the two-tail test, and you want to get to the 5% level, okay? And then go down that column until you get to n is equal to 6. So that's 0 0.8114. Now, um, because the tables don't show negative values, uh, we're going to be comparing this against a negative value here. So our critical value that we want to use is the negative 0.8114. So essentially, because it's 2 tail, on your number line, here's minus 1, here's 0, here's 1. Your critical region is now given up by 0.8114 there. And over here, minus 0.8114. So it's those two regions that you're considering. Now, if your R value gets into either of those two regions, then there is evidence to, to suggest that there is some correlation. But R value, or R, R value, is R equals minus 0.316. So that's somewhere about here. So, minus 0 0.316 is greater than minus 0 0.8114. So, the result is not significant. So, we fail to reject H0. Now, the conclusion must be in context and non-committal. There is insufficient evidence to suggest that there is any correlation 
between exam scores and heights. So if you see uh, any correlation or some correlation, you know that that's talking about a two-tailed test. Okay, and that is what we need to write down in order to answer the question.